Hello everyone. In this very quick video I'm just going to talk about hard water and what we mean by temporary and permanent hard water. So let's start first of all with a definition of what it actually is. This is how I would describe hard water. It's water that contains mineral salts that limit the formation of lather with soap. So let's just go into a bit more detail. The hardness of a sample of water can be tested by adding soap and seeing whether you get a nice foamy lather forming. Soft water lathers very easily with soap, but hard water doesn't. In fact, lime scale that you see in pipes is actually caused by hard water. So hardness can fall under two categories. It can be temporary, or hardness could actually be permanent. Now, temporary hardness is due to the fact that we have calcium hydrogen carbonate in the water. So we have Ca and then it's HCO3, brackets, two lots. So that's the chemical formula for calcium hydrogen carbonate. Because we have that in the water, that gives it a temporary hardness. Now, temporary hardness can be removed by just simply boiling the water. Permanent hardness is caused by two other things, calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate. So we'll put the formulas for those in. Four and MgS4. So you've got calcium and magnesium sulfates and they give rise to what's called permanent hardness and they can't be removed by boiling simply the water. Now these dissolved magnesium and calcium mineral salts get into the water usually when it comes into contact with things like limestone and other rocks that contain calcium compounds. This can happen for example when rainwater flows over rocks on its way to a reservoir. So we've got temporary hard water, permanent hard water, temporary hard water we can get rid or remove that hardness by boiling, permanent hardness we can't. Now, to remove that hardness, there, there are two techniques we sort of employ. One is via the use of what's called water softeners and the use of an iron exchange resin. So, methods to remove this hardness. Let's do a little separate section here. But removing the hardness. And one is via the use of what's called an iron exchange resin. So water softeners that contain an iron exchange resin work like this. As water flows through the resin as a column, the metal ions causing the hardness, so the calcium ions, the magnesium ions, those metal ions causing the hardness are exchanged for metal ions which are more soluble in water and so don't cause the same scaling problems. Hardness can also be removed by adding what's called sodium carbonate or more commonly known as washing soda. So put there. Sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate, which has the formula Na2 CO3, sodium carbonate, known as washing soda, can soften both temporary and permanent hard water. It's soluble in water and it adds a large amount of carbonate ions to the water. Those carbonate ions can react with dissolved calcium ions from the hard water, forming a precipitate of calcium carbonate. So the calcium ions in the water, those Ca2 plus ions, react with the carbonate ions that this washing soda, if you like, provides, and it forms a precipitate of calcium carbonate, CaCO3. So there's two ways that we can remove this hardness from water. And there's a very simple experiment you could even do to see whether your a sample of water is hard or soft. So what you could simply do is, if you were to take a test tube, let's say, this in the middle, one test tube, and in that test tube, you put 
some water. Now that water could be a known soft sample, hard sample, or more likely an unknown sample. So we've got a water sample here. Then using a pipette or any other kind of mechanism, we could drop in just a small amount of soap solution into there. So we can put into here some soap solution. We put a bung on that tube and we shake the mixture. And then we can just keep doing that until a stable lather is achieved and we can record the number of drops used. So quite clearly, if we use a very small number of drops, it's likely that that sample is soft water because soft water, we can form a lather very easily. If it takes a, a good number of drops to, to form a lather, or we indeed we don't get one at all, then most likely that sample water is hard. It has some hardness to it. Okay. It's a little bit there about what hard water is, the difference between temporary and permanent hard water, ways to remove it, and a little experiment you can do in a lab or even at home just to test the water for yourself. Hope all that helps.